Chapter 6 The next morning, we woke in the swamp of gases. Sometime during the night, the fire had gone out. It sure is cold, Regina said. We have to keep moving, Heather said. The forest of laughter is still a day away. Let's do it, I said. We can eat our food while we walk. Good idea, Heather said. You are a good gamer. I smiled. Even though we were trapped inside a video game, I felt like I was having the adventure of my life, and that was a good thing. There's something I want to know, I said. What is the highest level you can get in the game? I knew someone who was level 12, Heather said. She was a fighter. Oh? Who was she? I asked. Heather turned and smiled. That woman was me. Regina giggled. Maybe we'll reach level 12. Maybe, Heather said. You two are good players. Thanks. I wish we could travel faster, though. Just then, I saw an old man riding in a wagon up ahead on the road. Oh, hey. I said. Look. Maybe we can get a ride. No, wait. Heather said. It might not be safe. But I'm so tired, Regina said. Me too. I never knew walking inside a video game could make you tired. Heather frowned. I don't know. Come on, Regina said. We'll be careful. Yeah, if he tries anything, I'll stop him, I said. Heather took a deep breath. Okay, okay. Let's ask him. We ran to catch up with the old man in the cart. Hello there. I said. Can you stop a moment, sir? The old man pulled on the reins and stopped his brown horse. Whoa, whoa, old boy, he said. The cart stopped, and we caught up. Can we get a ride with you? I asked. Sure, the man said. My name's Herman. I'm going to the next city up ahead. Hop in the back. Thanks. I said. Regina, Heather, and I all climbed into the back of the wagon. The old man yelled to get the horse going again. Soon, we were on the road, headed toward the forest of laughter. I smiled. See, this isn't so bad. We're going to make it in half the time. Maybe, Heather said. She didn't seem too happy. A couple miles down the road, the cart stopped. What's going on? I asked. Herman stood and turned around. That's when I noticed he had the face of a rabbit. Before we get into the next chapter, Please hit the like button if you are enjoying the book so far. And now, let's jump back into the action. Chapter 7 Hello, players. My name is Arad. No, you're the evil rabbit of doom. Heather said. You can't fool us. Well, he did fool us once, Regina said. I frowned. It was all my fault for being tired. You three will not stop my plans. Arad yelled. Hold on. I said. What are your plans? I'm going to trap all the game players inside this game, he said. Then we can play forever. No way! I shouted. We're going to get out of this video game. You won't if I have my way! Arad yelled. He raised his hands. Two fireballs appeared. Watch out! I screamed. I jumped out of the back of the cart. Regina and Heather jumped right after me. You won't get away from me! Arad yelled. He was the scariest rabbit man I had ever seen. Okay, he was the only rabbit man I had ever seen. I didn't have time to wonder why we had never seen him when playing the time travel video game. You're going to come with me now, Arad said. He laughed like a crazy man. The sound sent a chill through my body. I've got an idea! Regina shouted. Time to cast a spell! Make it a good one, I said. Arad jumped out of the wagon and sent one of the fireballs toward us. Out of the way, I said, pulling Regina to the left. The fireball hit the ground and exploded. Flames danced into the air. You should cast that teleport spell now, Heather said. Working on it, Regina said. She waved her hands and said some weird words. At the end, a bright blue light flashed. All three of us disappeared. Everything went black. I couldn't see anything. Chapter 8 Oh, no. Heather yelled. We appeared in a dragon cave. That's not good, I said. 
we're still only level 1 characters. And I'm only level 2, Heather said. We'll never defeat a dragon. I don't see him yet, Regina said. He's probably asleep. Heather put a finger to her lips. We should talk quietly. Good idea, I whispered. What are we going to do now? We have to cast the time travel spell, Heather said. The what? I asked. It's a spell in the time travel video game, Regina said. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah, I said. If we're going to get out of here, we have to cast the time travel spell. How do we do it? Regina asked. I've been waiting for you to tell us. I'll show you, Heather said. It's very simple. Just say the magic words? I asked. No, Heather replied. There are no magic words. Just cast the spell. Oh, I get it. I nodded. Just cast the spell. That sounds easy. Regina smiled. But we're in a dragon cave, I said. I don't think Arad will let us have our spell. Come on, Heather said. Let's go cast the spell. Are you sure that will work? Regina asked. Yes, I'm sure, Heather said. I've played this game a hundred times. Good enough for me, I said. Let's go cast the time travel spell. You have to go back in time, Heather said. Before you met me. What? Regina asked. I don't understand. This game is crazy, Heather said. Can you cast the time travel spell? I think so, Regina said. Let me try. We have to think about it and help her, Heather said. Okay, I can think really good, I said. Regina giggled nervously. Are you ready? Heather asked. Regina nodded. She started to cast the time travel spell. All of a sudden, the world started to get blurry. Was it working? I think it's working, Regina said. I think it's working too, Heather added. We kept watching Regina as she waved her hands and thought about the spell. Finally, it worked. The world around us disappeared. Colors swirled. Regina? Are you there? Can you hear me? I asked. I'm over here, she said. Stay close, I begged. You stay close too, she said. I reached out and held her hand as we swirled through time. Start speech V equals X loud. Chapter 9 I looked around and saw we were back where we had started. We made it, I said. We're back when we first got trapped in the video game. I sure hope Heather is okay, Regina said. I liked her. Me too, I said. Maybe she's around still. Maybe, Regina said. I don't know much about the time travel spell. Me either. We should look for Heather, I said. Regina nodded. Together, we started to look for Heather. We searched all over. She's not anywhere, Regina said. She has to be somewhere, I said. This game is so weird. I nodded. Regina was right. Let's keep looking for Heather, I said. We kept looking for hours, but we never found her. I think we should just go find the Forest of Laughter on our own, Regina said. Yeah, maybe the other Adventure Club members know where she's at. Regina nodded. Yeah, that's the smartest thing to do. Okay, I said. Just remember. We have to battle the cow monkey again, I bet. Yeah, but we can beat it, she said. We know more about the game now. We do, I said. We just have to remember not to get in the cart with the old man. Exactly. Regina said. We went through all the steps we had completed. Traveling in time was super complicated. We soon made it all the way past the swamp of gases. And we even defeated the swamp fart on our own. Once it was gone, we traveled toward the forest of laughter. This time, we stayed off the main road. We passed the old man in the wagon, but we kept out of sight. Phew. Regina said after he had passed. That was super close. Yeah, that time travel spell is super powerful. She nodded. I wonder why it's so easy to cast that spell. I don't know, I said. We should hurry to the forest of laughter. Come on. Together, we walked toward the forest of laughter. Look at this big tree, she said. It has funny looking apples on it. Can you see them? No, I said. 
but I see the forest of laughter. Me too, she said. Come on, let's run. We hurried toward the forest of laughter. Once we got close, we heard the trees laughing. That's so weird! Regina said. I know! That's how the forest got its name. We laughed along with the forest as we walked down the path. I wonder where the other players are at, I said. Regina looked to the left and right. I don't see them anywhere. We kept walking for another few minutes. Stop! I said when I heard a big crashing sound ahead. What is it? Regina asked. I don't know, but we need to be ready. Regina rolled up the sleeves of her robe to cast a spell. I got my sword ready. We made such a good team. Chapter 10 The crashing noises continued. Come on, I said. Let's check it out. Regina followed me. We went closer to the forest of laughter. We soon came to a place where the trees had been knocked over, but the forest was still laughing. Somebody shoved the trees over, I said. Come on! Where are we going? Regina asked. I'm not sure. I think it's that way. I pointed toward the main road. We hurried toward it. The trees were laughing so loud, we could barely hear anything else. What's that noise? I said. Regina looked to the right then left. I see a group of kids. Stop! A boy shouted. Who goes there? It's us, I said. We're looking for the adventure club. Heather sent us, Regina added. The boy and the others rushed forward. Heather? Where is she? The boy asked. We had to cast the time travel spell, I said. And now we can't find her. That was you? Another girl asked. A bunch of the other kids started mumbling. My name is Sammy. The boy said. I'm the leader of the adventure club. I'm Tim. And I'm Regina. You met Heather? Sammy asked. I nodded. We met her, but we lost her. That's not good, Sammy said. Can you tell us how to get out of this video game? Regina asked. Yeah, I'd like to go home too, I said. It was fun at first, but not anymore. Sammy frowned. I wish I could help you, but me and my friends can't get out. What? Regina asked. Neither can Heather, Sammy said. She knows how to leave, but she can't do it. Why? I asked. It's because of Arad, Sammy said. He kidnaps kids who play too much. When he kidnaps them, he traps them inside a video game. How can we get out? Regina asked. And why does Arad want to trap you and everyone else? He doesn't like that kids play video games, Sammy said. He thinks people should do more exciting stuff, like go on adventures. He's just saying that so he can trick us, a boy named Gerald said. Why would he do that? I asked. I don't know, Sammy said. But he's the boss of this game. We should do what he says. How do we get out of this game? I asked. I wish I could help you, Sammy said. So do I, I said. It's hard to get out, he added. You said that you and your friends want to get out too, I said. Yes, but there is no way out, Sammy said. But there has to be a way, I said. I am going to find a way out. And I'm going to help you, Regina added. Is anyone going to help us? I asked. Sammy and the other kids looked at us. We can't do anything for you right now, Sammy said. But maybe we can find a way out for you later. But you said you can't find a way out, I said. I know, Sammy said. But think about it. You're new here. You don't know anything about this game. That's the end of this book, and don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe for more books like this. And I will see you in the next book.